It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Houston Texans and the Baltimore Ravens. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. T-Bank Stadium. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Leading them out, a two-year starter at Ohio State, and second overall pick in the draft, C.J. Stroud. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Uh, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Play action. Here's Stroud. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, here's Stroud. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Time will tell if that's an interception that rattles the rookie here. First drive on the road. And you know the discussion going into the game? Centered on, okay, let's get out nice and easy. Take care of the football. We're on the road. You're a youngster, let's not make mistakes early, but now the conversation will shift to, okay, put it behind you, move on, long way to go in this one. After the interception, here's Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner. He got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete.
Now a second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal drive. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good, and the Ravens strike first at three's in. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. Their second drive here of the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive and get some points of their own. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll run it for the first time with Damian Pierce. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw, here's Stroud. Flush to his right. And Stroud wisely slides down safely after picking up the first down. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. First and ten, it's Stroud. And this is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Second and ten. Stroud looking to throw. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Ryan Woods still going. Touchdown, Houston. Robert Woods 
54 yards. And the Texans have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown to interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice play. We're able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Here's Jackson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On third down, Jackson. Looking deep downfield. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Here's Jordan Stout now. Desmond King deep for Houston. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Taken from just outside the 30. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. And now out comes Houston. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they get to Stroud, nowhere to go, and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Play action, Stroud now. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. 
On third down, they go with Singletary. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. They had quite a hole to dig out of there on third and long. Not able to get the first, but a pretty good size run. A really good run, but how much confidence do you have in your next play call that you can sell to the head coach? Let's go get it on fourth down. Do you really have a play you believe in, or are you just hopeful? And you've got to sell it to the big man before it gets called. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and the Ravens will take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. To throw is Jackson. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Looking for Bateman, he's got him complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You gotta know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's gonna be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On second down, it's Edwards, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Third and nine here. Now Jackson. Working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there's no space available in incompletion as a result. Here's second and ten. Jackson. A little short one there, caught by Likely. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Finds his man over the middle, it's likely. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Raven passing game getting in sync, another first down. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. And they'll 
take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson as the first half is winding down. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Well, this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And the Texans going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 20. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback, instead he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. Give him five yards there and will bring up second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss there. Now third and 14. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So here's a third and 14. Off the draw, here's Hill. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. On the return, it's King. And it goes a 42, making a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And the Texans will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Singletary to get the drive started. Pushes him aside at the 45. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and eight. Stroud. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. They'll run on first down with Singletary. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Scroud to the air on first and 10. He's got it to Collins complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. And Stroud now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Stroud. 
Stroud to throw it. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports only way to get the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal singletary diving for the end zone and he is in touchdown and charles he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And that makes it 14 10. That time, a nine play drive. And it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. Stays on his feet. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, if people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure hard. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, down at the 31. Here's Jackson to throw. Complete to Lakeley. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. 
Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Twelve yards between them and the end zone. Second and ten. They go with Edwards left side. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. Well, this defense needing a stop here. Got to have it. Third and nine. Now it's Jackson setting up the screen here to Edwards. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Gus Edwards, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. And part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So an eight-play drive covering 80 yards, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So Stroud and the Texans down 17-14, a minute 56 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Stroud to throw it. And that's complete to Brown. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe-tapping, and, of course, foot-dragging. little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Here's second down and three. Here's Stroud. This is caught. It's Brown. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here's second down. Stroud. On a slant, here's Collins. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. This is first and 10. Now Stroud. This is caught. It's Woods. He 
he takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it ends with a Robert Woods touchdown reception. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And he returns this to the 22. Now it's the Ravens' turn, trailing by four. 24 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Jackson to throw. Pass complete to Edwards. And the defense here giving him no recourse but to get out of bounds after a gain of just a yard. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing. Jackson. Connecting with Aguilar. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Jackson. Pass complete. It's likely. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Here's first and 10. Jackson. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. One last shot for Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 22-yard line. That was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before. But in this case, I think the distance is just a little bit too great.